in the, in the community in a variety of ways to be a witness to our lives. Or we receive the satisfaction of being together to sing music and enjoy music and to make music as choirs and musicians. We have this gift called community and we receive so much from it. But as members of the community, then we also ask ourselves the question today, how can I support that? How can I help it to grow? <coughs> this is my child, this is my community. How can I nurture it? And so we do that as God's people. We do that as God's people. We do that in a variety of ways, obviously. We do it through our personal participation in the life of the church. That's the first central key to actually be here to worship, be here to serve, be here to sing, be here to work in the community, be here to be advocates in the world around issues of justice. So we do it with ourselves, we do it with our spirit, we do it with our talents, and also we do it with our money. Money is interesting. It's, uh, it's both part of the gift. I mean, it is God's gift to us. It's also a, an instrument. It's a tool. We get things done with money. When we decide what we want to do, money is one of the things that we use in the world to get things done. And so today we're making decisions about what portion, what percentage of my money do I want to specifically uh, donate, contribute to the beautiful Savior Lutheran Church. Once again, with stewardship, everything we do with our money is part of stewardship. It's how you spend it. It's what you use it for to store. It's how you invest it. It's how you save it. It's everything. But today we also take a moment out to say, okay, now of all that, uh, I want to be a good budget person. I want to plan what I'm doing. I want to give what's right. I want to give what I can. What am I going to give? And so today we do that as a community. And we do it as people building something together, giving birth to something together, caring for something together. And so we ask God's blessing on us as we do that. So, our custom as Beautiful Savior is on Stewardship Sunday, we invite people to make a pledge during the church service. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. In fact, you don't even have to make a pledge. Uh, it's not a requirement of membership. We think that it's uh, helpful for both you and us for people to make pledges. That's why we invite it. We feel like the helpful, helpful part of uh, Christian discipleship to make some prayerful decisions about how we use our resources. And so we always encourage people to make a decision for themselves. It also then becomes helpful to us as we do our financial planning and so forth to know what we can expect. And so I invite you today, if you'd like, to uh, make a pledge. You hopefully received on the way in uh, an envelope with your name on it. Uh, if for some reason um, you didn't get that or there wasn't one with your name on it or uh, you're not a member yet but you'd like, you know you'd like to become a member and make a pledge, <coughs> you can get one of these envelopes, raise your hand, and Charlie's going to come now with some envelopes with blank on the end. If everybody else could uh, take out their pledge packet just for a moment. <coughs> there are... Three things inside the pledge packet. One is the card that says my stewardship commitment. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to uh, just prayerfully consider what you would like your pledge to be either per week or per month uh, over the coming 12 months beginning January the 1st. Fill out both sides of the card and the right hand side, the larger side, uh, you can put into the small envelope in the uh, in the, um, in the uh, bigger envelope with, uh, and, and, and make that part of your contribution today at offering time. The small side, you could keep as a reminder for what you placed as your pledge. Okay? So whatever you write on the right side, keep the little side on the left and write down what you pledged to help you remember. The big green sheet is a way to volunteer some of your energy and skills. Now this is quite a bit to look at, so you may not have time to do this today. So feel free to take this home and bring it back to us another time. As far as that goes, feel free to take the pledge card home and think about it and bring it back to another time or mail it in in the envelope. It's whatever is most helpful to you. But let's take about, uh, about two minutes right now and you can prayerfully consider what you'd like to do.
here for and take as much time as you need to think about the variety of ways to serve the church in that way and, and to turn that in as you're ready as well. We celebrate uh, God's gifts to us. If you would open up your worship bulletin uh, once again, we're going to, on page five, uh, sing the hymn, Take My Gifts and Let Me Love You. 